Hello, everyone. Welcome to Dayan Korea YouTube channel. Today, I'm going to talk about the role and use of KOH. The use of potassium hydroxide in latex compounding plays a critical role for several reasons. Latex is an aqueous dispersion of natural or synthetic rubber, and during the manufacturing process, various chemical substances are compounded. Here are the reasons why KOH is used. pH adjustment. In latex compounding, KOH is used as an alkaline substance to adjust the pH. Maintaining an optimal pH range is essential to preserve the stability of latex and to prevent coagulation during processing. By adding KOH, the pH of the compound can be increased, helping to keep the latex particles in a stable state. Vulcanization Acceleration The vulcanization cross-linking, process of latex products is affected by pH. Under alkaline conditions, vulcanization accelerators can be activated more effectively, enhancing the cross-linking reaction. The addition of KOH can optimize the vulcanization process and improve the physical properties of the final product. It is showed that tensile strength and modulus at 300%, 500%, were drastically increased as increased the pH of latex. On the other hand, elongation at break of glove was decreased as increased the pH of latex. A highly recommended range of compound pH to optimize the physical properties is from 9.5 to 10.0. The degree of ionic cross-linking generated is greatly influenced by the latex pH and the amount of multivalentation in the system. KOH can be used to stabilize rubber particles and create a more uniform latex compound. This improves the quality of the final product and minimizes issues that may occur during manufacturing. Interaction with additives Inhibition of fungal and bacterial growth Overall, KOH is an essential component in latex compounding. Providing pH control and interacting with various compounding ingredients to achieve the desired properties and quality of the latex product. And bearer latex activation process KOH can be used to stabilize rubber particles and create a more uniform latex compound. As mentioned above, KOH acts as an important stabilizer in the glove manufacturing process, enhancing the properties of the nitrile material and contributing to the quality of the final product. However, the amount of KOH used and the details of the compounding process must be precisely controlled as excessive use can have a negative impact on the nitrile or the performance of the final product. Therefore, the proper compounding conditions and use of additives are crucial when manufacturing gloves. Adding 5% KOH in nitrile compounding is crucial for pH adjustment. It enhances the activity of vulcanization accelerators, significantly improving the quality of the rubber product. Excessive addition of KOH in latex compounding can lead to the following issues. Overalkalinity can cause latex instability and premature coagulation. Equipment corrosion. The strong corrosive nature of KOH can damage equipment. Quality deterioration may negatively affect the physical properties of the rubber. Health and safety risks. KOH is caustic and poses handling risks. Environmental impact. Improper disposal can harm aquatic life and water quality. 
it's important to control KOH concentration to avoid these problems. Today, we learned about KOH. I hope it would be helpful to you guys. Thank you for watching. See you next time.